So with the Perno plank, it's not quite like your normal typical plank that you might have seen on reality TV shows or maybe perhaps even in the gym when people are kind of performing or up to like six plus minutes or whatever with their, their hips up in the air, their, you know, neck pointing forward and all that kind of stuff. Our main points for the Perno plank is going to be that we keep a nice neutral spine with our chin tucked back so we have a flat spine, so I'll demonstrate from the side. I'm sorry, um, head's not hanging forward, it's back in position, back straight. And this is one of the main points that you want to take away from this little demonstration is that with our back neutral, we want to begin by pushing out our, our hips. So we create like an arch in our lower back and then from here, tucking the hips. So a good way to think about it is that if you had a tail, you're kind of tucking it in between your legs. So once we have the, the tail tucked in between our legs, our glutes are going to fire, they're going to be nice and rock solid. And that's our, one of our main goals in this exercise. And so now we can kind of come down to the ground and basically position yourself how you would with a typical plank where you, you know, hands are on the ground, forearms on the ground, elbows are on the ground, feet are on the ground, and your body's kind of parallel to the ground now. And so we're going to perform this arch and then the tuck of the hips. So then the glutes are now fired, flat spine, so we're nice and straight and parallel. And I want you to think about now tensing your glutes, tensing your legs, and also now with your arms, you're going to grip the ground and pull those elbows towards your belly button so your abs fire. Once you're in this position, we can sort of take short deep breaths, short, short, sorry, short breaths throughout the exercise. So tense everything and then engage. Hold it tight. So it might be a little bit weird, might be a little bit difficult to begin with, but you might only get like three to five seconds to once you first start this drill, but throughout time you will build up and you'll be able to hold tension throughout the whole body throughout the entire drill.